coming here a year, taking all of your time, talking about himself, never considering you for a minute, sold his play? Well, if he has, he can thank you for it. It's as much your play as it is his. No, that isn't true. Don't tell me. It was nothing but a stump speech the way he wrote it. You made him put flesh and blood into it. You know, you're talking about somebody that you don't understand. All right. Forget I ever said it. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, now you're sore at me. I can never learn to keep my trap shut. But I only say it because I think more about you than anybody in this whole menagerie. Forgiven? Of course, Judy, darling. What's that, your radio? Mm -hmm. Makes me boil to think an actress like you reading radio recipes for a living. Two eggs and fold in the beaten whites. The beaten whites? That's us! <laughs> well, anyhow, it's a salary for a few weeks. Aunt Miranda's cooking class. Well, you're a hell of an Aunt Miranda. That's all I can say. By lucky chance, I think I know just the place. Um, now the girls are a bit older, and it's not strictly a theatrical club or the commercial professions, but I think you'll find it almost as conveniently situated. 49th Street, this side of 10th Avenue. Perhaps when you have time, you might drop in and look at it. There, there, nothing to be upset about, just a little talk. Let's put it out of our heads, shall we? And, oh. Let me see a little smile. There. Now we both have our day's work to do. Oh, yeah, we must call the police. Now we're going to go back and do it right. 